welcome to the project demonstration of greenhouse environmental controlling robots uh, by using pic microcontroller and which was controlling through the bluetooth model so from the mobile phone application we are going to send the commands to control this robot movement that is forward backward left right and stop that commands will be received by this hc05 bluetooth module and the commands are input to the pic 16f73 microcontroller so based on the receiving commands the system coded in embedded c language and uh, it will control the robot movements means the robot consists of four dc motors left side two dc motors right side two dc motors these two are in parallel and these two are in connected in parallel and these four dc motors connected to the microcontroller through this L293D motor driver so here we can control the robot movement through this motor driver directly so the driver purpose is controller can't handle the 12 hours DC output so that's why we are placing the L293D motor driver as a mediator between the DC motors and the microcontroller so means so the whole system getting power supply from this 12 hours DC uh, battery pack so which was the parallelly given as input to the L293 motor driver and also there is a 7805 regulator on this PCB so which will provide us 5 volts DC output so 7805 regulator which will take 12 volts DC means above 5 volts and provide us a constant 5 volts DC which will regulate the 12 volts DC to 5 volts DC so once we provide that to the microcontroller start reading input from the sensors and input modules so input module is SC05 Bluetooth module sensor is uh, DHT11 sensor and uh, and output modules are like L293 motor driver along with the relay so here and also fan the CPU fan is controlling through this transistor board so the operation is we are going to controlling the robots and there is an automation process with the help of the sensors and the relays and transistor board so whenever the temperature is more than the 75 percent then automatically this uh, moisture reservoir will get switched on through this electromagnetic relay so which will provide us the humidification and if the temperature is above 40 degrees centigrade then this fan will get switched on through this transistor board so for this fan the 12 volts is parallelly from the 12 volt 1 amp DC output and for these abnormal conditions this buzzer will get switched on and the so called status continuously displayed on the LCD screen so coming to this battery ratings so we are using 12 volt 1 amp battery which uh, this is a battery pack consists of 3 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series so directly in order to recharge that we have provided this charging circuits so directly provide the input of 230 volts to this transformer so which will step down the 230 volts AC to 12 volts of AC and this uh, regulate power supply board which will convert the 12 volts AC to 12 volts pulsating DC with the help of these four diodes so these four diodes are connected in a manner of full wave bridge rectifier after that for smoothing purpose because the rectifier will do pulsating DC output and the capacitor will remove the pulses and make this pulsating DC to smooth DC so which is the main uh, charging voltage for the battery pack just by connecting the battery over here this is the transformer inputs so T is the for the transformer and B for the battery so we need to connect the battery over here and transformer over here so let, let this battery charging for at least of 6 hours because the charging time for this battery pack is 6 hours once the battery uh, fully charged automatically this charging circuit will block the current flow from the transformer to the battery in order to protect that from overcharging coming to the interfacing connections so we have interfaced the SC05 Bluetooth module so this is the SC05 Bluetooth module interface that to the C6, C7 and pin number B22, B7 for the 16 by 2 LCD screen and B0 for the fan and uh, C0 to C3 for this L293D motor driver C4 for the buzzer and uh, C6 sorry C5 for this electromagnetic relay for humidification of this uh, mist maker so let us see the demonstration before on the kit we need to install an application that is bluetooth terminal hc05 available from the play store after installation of this application go to bluetooth settings of your phone now on the power supply this is the main on off switch so below is the on and above is the off just on the power supply so as of now the bluetooth light blinks fast so we need to pair to that module initially so hc05 right so it will ask for the password password is 1234 so this is the first time we need to pair from the settings once we pair from the settings next time onwards directly you can go to this application 
and you can pair from this application there you can find the sc05 after pairing successfully done there you can see the one device is connected right the device is connected so as of now you can see the forward here with the buttons we need to configure them just click and hold so right forward here then enter small f small f and deselect these two they will come like this and deselect these two and save that same for backward right left stop all are small letters characters small f small l small b small s small r so just press f forward right so now let us see that as we can see the temperature and humidity on the lcd screen forward stop backward stop and uh, coming to the humidification left and right so right and left right so now let us see the humidification of this thing when we increase the humidifier or like humidity by uh, blowing the hot air on this one So you can see the humidity is increasing. So you can see that the humidity not switched on. So when it is coming to normal again, it will get switched off. Same for the temperature also. When it is above forty degrees centigrade. then we can get the fan get switched on let us see that forward stop backward stop right and left so come to the temperature when it is above that we'll get the buzzer and the fan will get switched on and when it is come down to below the prescribed temperature Yeah, so when it is below forty two degrees, buzzer off and also fan also will get switched off.